Oxnard has averaged one homicide during each of the past six weeks, with two of them taking place Saturday. While investigators are looking at whether any of the six homicides over the past month and a half are related, police are certain the two on Saturday are not connected. The only similarities into Saturday's killings are that both victims were shot and both were men, said Andrew Salinas, a commander with Oxnard Police and head of its investigative services bureau. Other than that they were in no way connected, Salinas said Monday. Oxnard usually has from 12 to 15 homicides a year, with the average being about 12 for the past 10 years. The city has had 8 killings so far this year. The fact that we've had this many homicides in 6 weeks has become very concerning, Salinas said. Authorities said the first homicide on Saturday occurred about 5.15 p.m. at a bus stop in the 1900 block of North Ventura Road. Police said the victim, Christopher Camper, 32, was shot numerous times while standing at the bus stop. Camper was taken to the Ventura County Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. His mother, Renee Camper, told the star her son's killing was done with such hate, noting she was told he was shot five times. Police investigators said they were looking at a series of possible motives for Camper's killing. His mother said her son was interested in music and radio and had a 13-year-old daughter with whom he'd gone walking with earlier on Sunday. Some five and one-half hours after Camper was killed, a second man was shot to death along the 1300 block of South C Street, about three miles south of where Camper was shot. The Ventura County Medical Examiner's Office identified the second victim as David Garcia, 21, of Oxnard. Witnesses told police at least nine gunshots were fired from two weapons in an alley. Investigators said they found 12-gauge shotgun casings and 9mm rounds at the scene of the South Sea Street shooting. Salinas said police had yet to arrest anyone as Monday afternoon in connection with Saturday's killings. Salinas asked that anyone with information on the shootings or the suspects or victims, contact police at 385-7605.